Welcome back to this series on CockroachDB's online schema changes. In this episode, we'll be looking at foreign key constraints. When you make a change to one table and you want to cascade those changes into another table, this is how to do it. First, let's create the database. We'll create exactly the same databases as we had before using Cockroach Demo. Now let's create some tables. We've got two tables in this example and one enum. First, let's create the person table and next we'll create a pet table with an enum that specifies the types of pet that are allowed in our database. This table is related to the person table by the person ID, and there's an index on that as well. So if we're filtering on that column, it doesn't result in a full table scan. Next, we'll insert some data. If you watched the previous episode, you'll see that we generated people using a tool called Benthos, and that's what we're gonna do now. That will insert 1 million people into the database. We have a new script now to generate random pets. These will be related to people, so for 100 iterations, we'll select 1,000 random people out of the database and assign those a pet. We'll generate random data for that pet and store it in the pet table. That will insert 100,000 random pets into the database. Next, we'll start a Go application, similar to the one you saw in the previous example, but this one will select the create statement from both the person and the pet tables. And with that running, let's start to change things. First, because we have a primary key that is a composite of both the country and the ID in the person table, we'll want to replicate that change down to the pet table. First, I'll add a country column to the pet table and populate that with the country for the related person. And you can see the change over here. We now have a country against the pet. Because we've got data in that column now, we can set it to non-nullable. In the same way we did for the previous example, we'll set the country and the ID to be the primary key, but we'll do it for both the pet and the person tables now. And what you'll see here is as that's finished, the primary key becomes a composite of country and ID for both the pet and the person tables. Finally, we'll introduce a foreign key relationship to the pet table. And there's the constraint. We have a constraint called pet person ID country foreign key, which is a foreign key that references the public schema person on country and ID. Now let's see how those indexes are working. So we've selected a random pet out of the database. I'm going to copy the person ID and join onto the pet table. So that's a join on the person and pet tables. If we do an explain on that now, we'll see that there are no full table scans. CockroachDB has recommended a couple of indexes for us, but for the most part, this is a performant query. Let's try the same query again, but this time using the country and ID. So in order to do that, we'll say join pet on person ID equals pet person ID and person.country equals pet.country. And there we go again, a performant query with no full table scans. Let's see the result of that. And there we go. Thank <laughs> you.